show <laughs> you can call me I will respond to your call we will discuss I have a discussion <laughs> so that everybody will be happy and the number to call is there on the screen as you can see it's there on the screen the number is there zero nine zero triple three two nine Seven seven five. <laughs> that is the magic number. <laughs> this is Akukabia, where we discuss the undiscussable. Is there anything like that? <laughs> what people normally do not want to talk in public is what we discuss here in Opundensha. What people will not talk in public is what we talk here in Opundensal in Akokabia. <laughs> that is why we say is the program where we call out the unquebo, we call out the unkaebo, and we hazela the unhazelbo. <laughs> For those who don't know me, my name is Emeni Kirebu, the anchor of this show. Akoko Abia. This show deals with activities happening in Abia State. All the things that you want to know about happening in Abia State, it is here that you will hear it. So I beg you to stay put, relax. Today discussion has it has is it is juicy. No, you go and see all the all the juicy. Akoko Keta. Obaraboba, Obaraboba, which means he has oil. <laughs> so, my brother, my sister, anywhere you there, relax. Let's discuss. Are you there? And remember, this is my signature cap. That is the Akokabia cap. <laughs> the cap that brings forth ideas. The cap that helps me think well. The cap that helps me speak well. The cap that gives me extra boldness. <laughs> <laughs> so today, without wasting most of your time, much of your time, more we will immediately dive into the algorithm matter. Of course, you have been hearing the stories on the road, on the street, here in menu, the social media. So today, I Koya, what exactly is happening in Abia State Algon? Just relax. Let us discuss it today. 
Remember that you can call me, oh. I don't know everything, no, but I give you the hint, the joke. Akukabia, get it? Akukabia. If you are calling me on phone, the first thing you will say is, Akukabia, get I will answer you, Akukabia. Some few days ago, the chairman of Algon in Abia State, Moki Ibe, released a, a press release first, few days ago, telling us, yes, Moki Michael, Michael Moku, telling us that he visited DSS on an invitation. And that when he got there, he discovered that all the things put before him was not with his knowledge, that he doesn't know about it. That is what he said, though. But he did not tell us what actually they said there. What was the issue? I could go get the there. He didn't tell us. He did not tell us what are the German issues, what the DSS asked him. What transpired? What was the petition that he did not tell us? But after some few days later, what? Another letter come out. This time around, he said, um, uh, threat. Threat to his life. That some people are threatening his life. That his life is under danger. That people want to kill him. <laughs> Simple place. Oh. What I mean by simple is this: if you were Kony Kony brought in, also Kony Kony maintained the oh. <laughs> He said that the after is like that because somebody, this somebody, where they don't want to call his name, name the <laughs> Because somebody won't purchase car for LGA chairman and their deputy and say he say no, he no go agree. Nine they won't kill him. Okay, he no talk kill him. We say they put his life under threat. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> that is it. So if you come put together all the one and two together. You go discover, say, the basic problem for this matter. Now, who go buy moto? Who no go buy moto? And this very who the one buy, so not be for me and you, now for local government chairman and the deputy chairman. Now, dear the Wahala day, who go buy the moto for them? Chairman own support the Prado Jeep or Hilux, as we hear. But say the deputy owner go be Serento car, another small saloon car, and then they go buy for the deputy chairman for local government. But for them being chairman, him, one person they offer to buy Jeep, another person they offer to buy Hilux. So my people, first thing, first of all, you understand me say, this fight, what did they fight? No be about me and you, that's number one way you have to know. So before you go jump, enter the matter, you need to first confirm what is the fight all about. And based on what we don't gather now, the fight no be between me and you, no be, no be for us. It be like say the fight, now for them, for them, them. <laughs> about us we for no hear more because fight for no day you get this coco if this fight so now about Abia state to move forward we for no hear and because fight for no day but it be like say this fight now about waiting them go again 
What him then go make na him the coco day na him make with the hear him so I no agree I no agree I no go agree yo I no go agree I no go agree yo I no go agree <laughs> so that's the matter with that so if we follow from when the chairman don't begin the talk that means say this matter all together now about who go buy the vehicle for the chairman. Who go buy the vehicle for the deputy? Who go buy up? Nah, who go buy up? Nah, him be the matter. <laughs> so when we go dig a little bit, go inside more. We come there here. Say, be like, say, one person, I know one call name because this now all will never confirm my head very well. So I don't call person name. You can't be like, say, one person. We're involved for the fight. We don't promise, say, he can go buy both the Prado Jeep for the chairman and the Sereto car for the deputy chairman. He can go buy them for 78 million. Oh, Coco Bioko. Sinaga Zotaronde Chairman. Now the answer had Jeep for Jeep or go. Now the Sereto car for 78 million. Amam Amam Udri Jeep. We did this kind of Jeep or made in or made in heaven. I don't go point the person because say this matter, this story, this particular source will never confirm and well, so don't go call person name here. But then, if you get eye of the spirit, you don't know who they call the name. You know, say that media would do. <laughs> say one person say he go buy the Prado Jeep and the Seroto car for seventy eight million. Meanwhile, another person for this same matter can say no. Say the money too much. Say go buy two of the vehicles. Say go buy two of them for 31 million. <laughs> oh boy, it's difference too much. <laughs> now, dear the Wahala day, let nobody come to deceive us. If this fight is about the betterment of the people, fight for no day. So for no hear any story. This fight is about waiting to enter Mr. A or Mr. B pocket. I <laughs> You know what? You know what they sweet me? My father say any secret one no no. Make problem day. Make I hear the news. <laughs> so so that there we did now. So that there we did now. So the challenge now, now motto. I never see when I call the more that call me more talk this thing. No challenge them when now we pass our motto. And it which mot which ego keja okay, zumota ego nde abia. Oku ego nde abia. This is our money. We have been battling to see how to upset some salaries of some agencies, some people in government. And then at the moment, some people are fighting over our commonwealth on how to utilize it for their own benefit. I'm not against buying vehicle for chairman and um, uh, deputy chairman, no. That is a statute, statutory right. It's very okay. But let us do things with human feeling. Considering the present situation, of this state called Abia State. We will not lie to ourselves. This state needs every cover it can gather to solve problems in this state. We have infrastructural issues. 
We have so many issues, even just like I said earlier on, salary issues in some agencies of government, which also has its own stories attached to it. So all these issues, they need money to solve. So for some group of people to be fighting over our commonwealth on how it would benefit them personally at this point in time is wrong. Let us call it speed is speed. So, the issue is that it seems as if this, that is why he begin to be like saying na true say na money matter. Because some other local government chairmen never even talk to him. They never even talk. They never say anything. <laughs> what must be the Before you know what happened, deputy chairman of Abia State jump out. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Everybody they protect in own turf. I will protect them well. Deputy chairman jump out. Immediately. They say the chairman Michael Woko say why in they expose government information. Saying don't they do them too much? When I hear that one, government information on how to spend our money, qua? Then the government information. Is there supposed to be anything in government today that the people should not know, being that our money is being used apart from security issues? And why security issues are made secret? It's because when it is revealed, the, 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 the criminals will now take advantage of the information to find another way. But when it affects our commonwealth, we should know ABCD. By the time each local government go cough out either 78 million or 31 million to purchase this vehicle for themselves, it is taken from our commonwealth. These people know it from their pocket. So we need to know. So that letter, when deputy chairman then put out, I don't know who advised them. I don't know. I don't know who advised them. This is Akukabia, where we discuss the undiscussable, we call the unquable, we call the unkiable. Yes. So, which one should we go for? Is it the, 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 the one that will give us Prado with Serato for 78 million? Or the one that will give us um, Hilux with um, uh, Serato for 31 million? Which one should we go for? <laughs> They say that person will want to provide that one of 31 million. Say every time when they provide vehicle for people, say no, they provide new one. Say now refurbish. <laughs> <laughs> say they always provide refurbished vehicles. Say that be their problem. So my people. That's where we are. That is the challenge. That is the stories that you've not known about this um, uh, algorithm matter. But as the story, they come out more. I'm going to give an emojis. We did together on this. I did here. Nothing mega. This is Akokabia man. This is Emeni Kirebu, the Akokabia man. The man that gives you all the top gist on everything happening. Everywhere, all over the world. That is me. Omoa Wonya. So... Now, so that will take day. Moku now go to the next issue, the area, area international market issue. Share the follow. You the follow. <laughs> you the <de> follow. <laughs> yes. That market don't long overdue for to rebuild them. Remember, say that market was constructed. That was even before the war. Most of this market before the war. That's so many, so many years ago. And that time, they know they, most of the constructions did not follow the lay down processes to make sure, say, the place they would over flooded. To avoid flood, to avoid all these issues, 
that particular um, uh, um, road, that particular market, no put those things in cognizance that time. That's why a few, a few days ago we saw pictures of flooded roads, of flooded markets. The flood was written to the waste or even marketers and people that, or, and customers. Oh, that was very bad. And I remember vividly that some years back, that the government himself, at the early stage of this government, there was an attempt to work on that market. And there were obviously resistance by um, uh, shop owners who did not come to mutual understanding with the government on how to move that project forward. But now, after those very bad images on the social, on the social media everywhere in the world, it seems the governor took the bull by the horn and then declared that all shop owners must leave their shops not be all of them, or they get a, a, I mean, a, a line, a line one, a medicine, a, they get one of certain areas where they talk, say they need to come out. They said, make them move, come out, make them reconstruct that place, and a face by face reconstruction. The governor of the, of the state, Governor Kizibaz, we gave them fifth of this month, September, to have evacuated their goods and properties from that particular area where they want to start reconstruction. And based on the images that have been available for us since, since yesterday, the reconstruction work have started. Um, yes, there are challenges, though. there are one or two problems though, already that the, that the shop owners are facing. We will discuss some of them. But we must appreciate the governor for the strong will, for the will to take on this project, to make sure that this thing is done. And the governor has also assured that every shop owner who had shop in that place will get his shop back. That has been the fear of the shop owners, of the, of the marketers. But now that they have been guaranteed that they will get their shop back, that is a good one. Please, if you want to call me, you have my um, the, 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 the line there, you can call me through that line. I don't call me through another line, but that line, please. So, the governor assured that everybody that has shop in that line will get his shop back. That is a good thing. But at the moment, the shop owners were having problem. They are saying that the time given to them was too short. Well, that's an issue. But they should remember that this particular project planning has been on since, and there have been resistance. And the, the government needs to take the bull by the horn. And that must be encouraged. But what I see as a challenge is that where these shop owners are expected to relocate to, all those shops have been hacked. I heard the shop is now 500,000 downstairs. A shop upstairs is now 350,000. Ah, it's too much now. I think the government should look into that. It's important. The government should look into that and help them out. Because even though the reconstruction project is good, but it's also important for us to make sure that those marketers, those shop owners, do not go through agonizing pain during this period. So the government should please do something to help them relocate is um, safely get shops to relocate to make sure that this price are not hiked because of the rush so that after our shops are reconstructed they cannot come back to their shops so now let's go to the issue the petroleum issue for abia the petrol issue Today I bought two, yesterday I bought 200. Today I bought two, 190. Or getting a man. Or getting a man. People are suffering. Everything has been increased. The cost for transport has increased. The cost of goods are going high. And we have heard that the major challenge here is that the problem of Imo State 
have not come to Abia to disturb us. Ndimo, vunu no problem, vunu gawa half an hour, no, again a day. So that's where we are now. So please, our people should exercise some patience. Ndabia, exercise some patience while the government will see how to resolve these issues. Yes, I want to thank you so much for joining me on this program. This hour we are together. My name remains Emeni Kiribu, the Akukabia man, the man, the jolly good fellow, the man you always enjoy. I will always love you and love everybody. I remain Emeni Kiribu, the Akukabia man, the man that is me, the media general. God bless you guys. Hallelujah. Have a blessed day. <laughs>